Hello, my name is Alexis and I'm a museum educator at the Baltimore Museum of Industry. Today, we will be talking about the meat packing industry in Baltimore. The early meat industry in Baltimore was localized. Nearby farmers and breeders would provide cattle, sheep, and hogs for local butchers to sell at Baltimore's public markets. As the city grew, so did the demand for meat. Farmers and breeders from surrounding counties took their livestock through the city streets to deliver them to stockyards in southwest Baltimore's Pigtown neighborhood. After that, meat packers would take the livestock to the slaughterhouses and butchers in the East Baltimore area, now known as Butcher's Hill. Many of Baltimore's butchers were German and Jewish immigrants, some using family techniques passed down for generations. Although Baltimore's meatpacking industry was much smaller than cities like Chicago, local, independent, and family-owned businesses, such as Mangers and Alvies, maintained a foothold. By the early 1900s, Baltimore had industrial packing houses, such as Jones and & Lamb and SK. Meatpacking moved from urban to rural settings over the century. A number of small butchering operations in Baltimore, such as Wasserman and Limburger in Reisterstown, and Fenwick's Choice Meats in Cross Street Market still cater to consumer taste.